Hi there guys, today we're going to do a full review and demo of this 1990 pneumatic Henry HR200. Now you can't actually buy this vacuum brand new in the shops. Um, you can get these refurbished on eBay or you can just buy them dirty. I bought this one dirty and non-working from a local second hand shop. Um, it actually cost me £1.50 this Hoover. Um, of course I did have to um, source all these attachments. I had the, uh, the small tools, the hoses off another of um, my Henry's. They all fit uh, the same. These tubes I got from Henry that are refurbished and um, I had the, uh, I'll get, gave new tubes with it um, and the floor tool I brought as a um, replacement part. But um, here's the machine. Um, it's just a standard Henry really. Um, the cables are on these ones, what, 8 metres, although my one's probably about 6 now, as um, I've had to chop it, well, it's probably about 7.5 um, at the moment, as I've had to uh, chop the original plug off to uh, uh, find, because when I got it, it was the cable that had broken, um, it was actually at the rewind end, not at this end, so... Um, Chop that down and made that work now. Um, on the back, we do have the on off switch and a PTO socket. I do have a, um, a power nozzle which I will show you. Um, we've got two vents on either side, air vents, important dry operation only sticker. At the top, we have our rewind and our sticker. We've got our handle, and underneath that, we have our racing plate. Um, we've got on either side two clips, um, wheels on the back and uh, casters on the front, we've got our inlet and our stick on face, it's not a, um, a transfer, you can actually peel the face off, I've seen these without the face, take, take the lid off, um, there. under here we do have the motor, um, very rust free, nice and clean and Here's the tub, uh, we've got our filter, we've got a smelly in the top to make it smell nice. Filter's extremely clean. Uh, we've got our dust bag which needs replacing, so I'll do that now. Got a spare one, this would come with originally paper bags, but um, I don't have any of those at the moment, so I'm just using the uh, new style HEPA flow dust bags, which are just as good and uh, filter out more dust particulates. So. I'll just screw it in here. Like that. I'm going, I always put it up this way. Um, like that goes in there, and then you put the filter, the motor unit back on the top. Like um, so we'll. Um, get this set up, plugged in, and we'll uh, do the demonstration. So, here's a dirt. I have a Instagram account for this channel now, Pneumatic Rule 29, which is that called. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a photo of this. Um, put it on here. Hope you come and follow us. Um, stand up my sofa to get it all in. Sit. There's our photo. Uh, go on here. Uh, behind the scenes. Um, let's see if it's all correct. S C E N E S. Okay. And then there we go. Behind the scenes. Hope you guys come and follow me on my Instagram. Um, I really appreciate it if you did. So anyway, let's get started with this demo. What we'll do first is we'll pass our standard head through this side and then we'll do our turbo electric through this side. Yes, I've brought the turbo electric tool down and uh, we'll do that. So first of all, our standard head. Let's go. Oh, and before I forget, there's flour, um, Cheerios, oats, dust, dirt, pet hair, etc. in here. So, there's a lot of dirt. 
Let's go. Now, um, it's left a little bit here that it's dropped out of the head, um, but yeah, it's okay. Um, it looks clean enough, um, but what I'll do is I'll put the electric to head on, we'll um, do this side, and then we'll just go back to that head and hoover up the rest of it. So, here's the turbo electric head. Um, it's plugged into the back of the Henry in the PTO socket. Now it's got a belt on it, but it has got like a thing there, I don't know if that'll do anything. But um, we'll just see how this cleans up now. I'm missing the original clips for this to hold it onto the hose and ones, but um, I hardly ever use this, so it doesn't really matter. But anyway, let's uh, pass this through the middle and see how it does. <laughs> shocks for that um, but anyhow we have clean path except from the line of shame which most uprights leave but um, I'll just change it back over to the standard head and we'll um, clean the rest of this up so let's just clean the rest of this up <laughs> okay I suppose um, my head's looking a bit dirty but um, yeah we'll go into the kitchen now and see uh, what it's like on hard floors so here we are in the kitchen what have we got on the floor well we've got cornflakes flour salt and oats so I'm going to pass this hoover through the middle once see how it does and then we'll hoover up the rest so let's go one thing they don't say about this vacuum it gives you electric shocks oh jesus christ just got a massive electric shock off the handle of that Flipping heck, I'm sorry guys, but that is, no, it's not nice, I don't, I don't like getting electric shocks, it's something I can't do, so what I'm going to do is go and get some gloves because I'm a pussy. 
Now I've got some gloves. I have to put these on. I know you're going to call me a wuss, but I can't stand electric shocks. Uh, I hate them so much. These are actually biking gloves. So, in touches now. And it's snow ploughed a little bit. So, what I'll do, we'll hoover up the rest of this. So, uh, let's go. The bike gloves ain't protecting me. Uh, so I'll probably clean this up off camera. So um, yeah, can I pull the camera with these gloves? No, I can't. So I'll have to clean this up off camera. So see you in a bit. So now we're going to see how many stairs that Henry will go up. This is the stair nozzle that Henry comes with. There's a Henry. So uh, let's see how many stairs it goes up. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Burn that a push, maybe? Yeah, a push in there. Henry falls over down here. So let's conclude. So, what do I think of this, Henry? It's, yeah, it's okay. Uh, for when it was made, it was made in 1990. Um, it's quite quiet for um, a commercial machine. Um, I know a lot of commercial machines are noisy. So let's have a look at the bag. See how full this is. Uh, no dust has escaped, which is good. Um, let's take the hose off. It shows how much rubbish is in there. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of dirt inside of Henry, which I need to clean up now with another vacuum. I'll probably use um, James, uh, I've done a review of James, very good vacuum cleaner, as all automatic machines are. So, um, yeah, there's that machine. I hope you like this video. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching, and follow my um, Instagram, and bye for now.